What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. I'm doing a little video, because as you can see, as you heard from the intro, this is Mr. a.k.a. Swagger 3.0 reloading, so we're going. And uh, I'm going to talk about sub subject, you know. That's like a world, this is a world, this is my, like, this channel is a world channel. If you don't like it, I don't care. I'm not going to talk about strictly black issues, you don't know why, because you don't fucking listen to any of those, so. What am I, I'm a, I'd rather go bang my head off this fucking wall right here than fucking talk about it all day. Anyway, so let's go. I'm going to talk about, you thought Obamacare was bad. Listen to this, now. Over in China. You know, there's been attacks on doctors and nurses. Some have been, you know, some attacks resulted in death. You know, this is, it led the Chinese government to um, make plans to beef up securities around hospitals and medical centers. You know, the attacks are caused mostly by the cost and the low quality of patient care. Now, here's the problem they do that with. In China, as you can figure, if you get this the cost, and if the cost, if you give them doctors more than you know, basically it's like bribery. If you can bribe them, you expect them to come out with a clean bill of health. And a lot of times they were bri they weren't really bribing them. They were really they were paying them more. They were, they were getting their bribes, but the people, their family member was dying. Now you run that emotion. It's high already where, you know, you're already nervous that you got a family member in a hospital, so you know it's a serious situation. But you uh, you have that uh, anxiety, and then you're paying somebody an exorbitant amount to assure you that your loved one is going to get out the hospital okay. Then you add in the hard to access medical treatment to begin with. And, you know, something like like a there's certain treatments that are really hard to access. And once you get it, you think you're going, you know, you think you're really going to, you're going to live. And then they pay these bribes. They're like it's basically a bribes a guarantee supposedly to them. They're like my family members going to be okay. So and then and then the disaster happens. Then they die. And then you're like. If it was me, I'd probably do the same thing. I'm like, hold up, motherfucker! I paid you all this money. You assure me, you know, and you, and you ain't get my money back. Somebody gotta go. That's how it is. If, if, if you in that life, I can understand that. But uh, the doctors don't. The doctors make a mistake already by, you know, a lot of them are crazy committing malpractice. But it's over in China, so who really cares? Because the Chinese government doesn't care. You know, they can make the mistake, there's no lawsuit over, and over in China, there's no, you can't sue them for my practice. You know, it's, 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 there's no malpractice. I mean, that's like, if you sue a doctor, if there's malpractice here, doctors can potentially lose their license, and potentially lose their freedom, but they can't do that over there. Where, you know, so, you thought Obamacare was bad, imagine going through all that mess, Imagine getting extorted to the point where if you don't pay, they're going to die. But if you come up with the money, you think thinking mentally they're going to live, but then they end up dying. So you're like, I just paid all this, I, pay, I just paid this doctor fucker all this money for him not to live. It ain't fucking happening. So I'm out of here. You thought Obamacare was bad? You can be in China right now. Peace. Oh.